for me is when I found out that you changed from mute air trick. I was the one rep. The rack, and then you changed it to the weedle. Weddle. Well, well, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what he's talking about is um, people know this trick as the mute air when you, you grab your front hand around uh, your front foot like that. And um, there was a skater in my day, and when I was an amateur, it was Chris Weddle. Uh, he was deaf, and he would skate the events. He was actually sponsored, it was sponsored by Fairfax. Woo! And um, it was right around the time that Indie Air was created, and the Indie Air used to do the same type of grab with your backhand. And so, because Indie was named after the truck company, someone independent in tractor trucks, I'm going deep into the weeds here, but it's very good. Independent tractor trucks were rival truck companies. And someone that wrote for tractor said, hey, we should call this the tracker air. And someone else, who will remain unnamed, said, no, you can't say that because that, that mute guy does that. And so in that moment, they just decided to name it the mute air. Chris Weddle, who they're talking about, was the creator of this trick. He didn't even know that they had named it the mute air until he saw it printed in a magazine. And he's like, that's my trick. Why do they call him muter? I'm not mute. <laughs> and he never really raised a voice. But uh, okay, pretty good. He never, he never really told, he, he never discussed it with anyone. He didn't. He didn't create a stink about it or anything. He just went along with it. But he was hurt. He was hurt by it. And I, we never knew that. We're all kids from the '70s and '80s. I mean, it was just like, you know, we would all be canceled. All right, let's put it that way. Yeah. Uh, but. But when uh, we were re-releasing re this game, I got a few requests from the deaf community, like, can you please do something about the muter? Like, we don't like that. It's not, and, and it's Chris's trick. And so I, I messaged Chris Well, and I said, hey, Chris, we're gonna re-release the game. I wanna change the name of the muter. What would you like to have it called? And he said, oh, uh, well, grab. That would be cool. That's what he wrote to me. And so, it's now known as the Weddle Rack. Um, Woo! It was, it was more an answer to the deaf community who was asking me about it, um, but it more of, of an honor to Chris. And it was just in our game, you know what I mean? I wasn't like making some stance, like, everyone must now say Weddle Grab. But, but a lot of people understood that story, and now that's what they call it in the Olympics. So um, it works. And thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Oh, no, 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 the sign of the skateboard. Your forearms, the deck. That's, that's skateboarding. So. Woo! I do want to share one thing with you guys, and this is totally off the cuff and maybe inappropriate, but um, I got to skate a private bowl uh, just outside of Cleveland today. Um, and I think Jim was here. It was kind of to invite us. Hey, Jim. Oh, front center. Uh, and uh, super cool that it, it's, it's kind of a, a smaller bowl, but it's super fun. And, and there's a, he has a skateboard museum, uh, and, and it's just this ode to the history of skateboarding. I showed up to my surprise, Chad Muska was there. Um, and uh, Chad had just moved back to Ohio. He hasn't been skating a whole lot. Um, he's raising chickens. He, he has the best energy, and he's just so excited. And, and he's doing these grinds, and then out of nowhere, he tried his signature Muska flip. And I thought, this is one of the coolest things ever. Like, Chad Muska's here, he's trying the Muska flip. It's 20 years later. Um, he started getting close, so I got down, 
So you just need to call it the ghost face angle. I got the ghost face angle, the wide angle, and I'm shooting it. And he lands one, but he kind of was leaning back and he broke his ankle. Uh, turned the other way. Uh, and it was, it was rough. Um, I mean, we, it's, we're, it's not our first rodeo. We're no stranger to these kinds of injuries, obviously. But um, it was hard. He had a great attitude about it. And when he, he got taken away in an ambulance, and this, is, this will stay with me forever. He's in the ambulance. He's still like, I love you guys, man. I'm so fun. I'm so happy to see you. And then closing the door, he's like, skateboarding. You can't stop us. Yeah.